All right, guys, welcome to another box break here at Gamers Guild. We do these every Monday. Uh, tonight's break uh, will be uh, Strict Saving Set Boosters and then a box of Strict Saving Collector Boosters. We're going to be doing two of those. We've done these the last couple of weeks uh, to some pretty uh, outstanding results, if I do say so myself. Uh, as always, with this combination of packs, we are uh, utilizing six spots for each break. And in break number one, we've got Arthur K, David R, Deegan, Mike G, Stephen Y, and Thomas J. I uh, want just to run down the spots one more time. Uh, we've got black, blue, green combined with lands, red, uh, white, and colorless together, and then multicolor. So far, history has shown that. Uh, the multicolor slot is pretty loaded, and uh, black has so much potential considering uh, that's where Demonic Tutor lives. Unless, uh, <laughs> unless your name is Deegan. Uh, come on, let's just like send out some positive yeah, energy for Deegan. Uh, he, re he really wants to get that tutor. Is Zach in break two? Zach is in break number two. Okay. All right, also joining us in person tonight along with Deegan and Charlie is our friend Ted. Uh, here to check out the proceedings. Maybe he'll join us in one of these here in the future. Um, but let's go ahead and assign the spots. And the spots will go to Arthur is in black. Deegan is in blue. Not black. Uh, Steven is in green <laughs> plus lands. Mike G is in red. I think Mike is just going to donate money to the breaks uh, now, regardless of what he gets, because he is of the Triple Demonic Tutor fame. And in the sweet spot, we've got David R. Thank you for joining us again this week, David. All right. Once again, in black, we've got Arthur. In blue, we've got Deegan. In green and lands, we've got Steven joining us for the first time. Hope it's good to you, man. Uh, Mike G's in red. Thomas J is in white and colorless. And David R. has multicolor. As always, we are also going to be randomizing a Zendikar Rising box topper at the end of the break to one lucky winner. So I'm going to reset the randomizer to take care of that when the time comes. And we can go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to start out with those Strict Saving Set Boosters. This past week was a pretty awesome week here at Gamers Guild. We had our weekly modern event once again on Friday. On Saturday, despite crazy gas shortages and whatnot, we had 40 people in the first week of our Commander League and our soft reopen. Uh, we'll definitely be uh, doing that again this week. Uh, please come out and join us if you didn't already. It's super fun, um, a lot of great people, just, uh, just everybody having fun playing Magic. And then once again on Sunday, we've got our free standard. The additional event this week, uh, we are going to be doing a sealed event on Saturday. Details will be posted on the group page tomorrow. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. And if you haven't already, please uh, feel free to share and like our videos. Please subscribe to our channels. Um, we just think it's cool if you do, and we very much appreciate it. All right. Let's get to why we're all here. Oh, we're going to start off with a mythic for white. Mavinda, Students Advocate. Yeah. Followed by a Plarg, Dean of Chaos, for red. In the archive slot, we've got Divine Gambit for white. And a Foil Enthusiastic Study for red. All right, pack number two. For lands, we've got a Necroblossom Snarl, the green-black land. Uh, speaking of dual lands, we do still have a few of the Secret Lair Ultimate Edition 2 that features uh, ten, uh, all 10 pathways, full art foils, uh, extra stained glass blast zone. It's a pretty sweet set. They're just 100 bucks. So if you want that in your life, we can definitely help you out. All right, uh, we've got a regrowth archive for green. 
and a foil fractal summoning for multicolor. The uh, Necroblossom Snarl. My bad. My bad. Um, Often in said boosters, you'll be asking, "What are the four rares?" Oh, we're gonna we're coming up on our first card from the list. Excited to see that. Maybe it'll be the elusive Cavern of Souls this week. We've got a Callus Blood Mage for black. Valentin, Dean of the Vein for black. Snakeskin Veil for green. A Foil Practical Research for multicolor. And from the list. Ooh. Dryad Arbor. For lands. That is the eternal debate, but we always go with lands for Dryad Arbor. This week it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> the first time ever that we know dispute. A Harness Infinity, a mythic rare for multicolor. Thrill Possibility for red in the archive slot. Foil Arcane Subtraction for blue. Oh man, we're already going to have another card from the list. Hey, we got a stamped art card, even though it's not, it's just a Planeswalker symbol. That's pretty cool. That's Auric War Mage. Uh, we got a rare lesson for white, academic probation. Dragon's Guard Elite for green. Doomblade in the archive slot for black. Foil Double Major for multicolor. And from the list, Pegasus Stampede. Originally from Exodus. Cool. Hey man, Exodus was a sweet set. I picked up a couple of the um, like Baron, the like, original Baron from like the Blue Wizard from Exodus. I guess he's on the reserve list, so all his stuff is starting to like shoot up. He's like a fifty dollar card now. Yeah, the, like the re reserve list list it. It giveth. Yeah. Uh, accomplished Alchemist for green. Selfless Glyph Weaver for white. Whirlwind Denial Archive for blue. And a Foil Reject. Uh, I guess in this case that would be a noun. Like so, but like for this one it should be reject <laughs> as an instant. Foil for blue. Well, I said reject, and it's obviously reject. Words matter. We got a Sedgemore Witch. That's been really popular uh, in Commander so far. We've uh, sold a multitude of those. Blue Sun Zenith Archive. They bumped it up to Mythic for the Archive slot for blue. And a foil first day of class for red. <laughs> We've got a Poet's Quill for black. Mythic for blue. Jadzi, Oracle of Arcavios. The infamous Faithless Looting, Archive for red. Foil Charge Through for green. And our second dual land of the box, Fury Calm Snarl for multi, uh, for uh, red white. Village rights archive for black. Foil snow day for blue. We 
got a Vanishing Verse for Multicolor. Lightning Helix for Multicolor in the Archive slot. Most people really enjoy the uh, Japanese artwork for Lightning Helix, but I think I kind of like the English one the best. So anything that burns, I'm a fan. We got a foil relic sloth for multicolor. On to the next pack. Fervent Mastery for red. I'm not, I'm not convinced that any like art because there's like there's another one that's done similarly in the set that didn't get nearly as much hate but I think it's even worse looking <laughs> like I just I don't know it's just like it's just it's very disjointed like you're not like when you look at a magic card it's not supposed to look like that yeah you know just that style yeah. I think it's interesting though I, I'd, I'd play that one over the regular one just because I think it looks wild yeah I mean and it's I mean like it's gonna be a, like a card that's I mean people are gonna randomly collect it just because it costs such a stir like so it's gonna have like a better than normal um, like collector value in the long term we've got a uh, strategic planning for blue and a foil spring main servant for green Mythic for multicolor, Kazmina Enigma Sage. She's pretty sweet. Another rare for blue. Blue's having a pretty solid break so far. Just, like, if in volume, if nothing else. So good for you there, Deegan. Thank you for having the, the <laughs> I'm not throwing. I'm not throwing shade. I'm. I'm. I'm being an optimist. Uh, Uvilda, Dean of Perfection. Which I think is cool. Tom Wolf is in there. So. We're gonna. We're, we're getting there. Uh, we've got a, a Swords to Plowshares for white. You definitely want to see that in the white slots. Yeah, that's a really cool one. Foil Tendrils of Agony for black. Storm. Uh, that is a deck I could never pilot. Um, is outside of my skill set, man. No, man. That's, oh, I'm atrocious with that. I, I recently uh, built a Kark Sakashima. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't vibe with the deck, and you know it. You know, you know that's not for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a, I'm definitely a fan of like giving the decks chances, but you know, sometimes when you know, you know. Yeah, I was resolving um, like five or six copies of every spell over and over again, and, like for however many times per turn. You know, you know you're gonna win. You gotta play it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's not I mean, you can just like talk. You can just <laughs> try to convince the group to just go ahead and scoot. <laughs> But you always have that one person that's just like, nah, I gotta see it happen. Uh, Damagot Titan for multicolor. Whip it up. <laughs> uh, cultivate for green in the archive slot. And then a foil hunt for specimens in black. So in case you don't know this. Oh! Super sick card for the list. We've got a scroll rack. Oh, wow, really? That is a big hit for colorless. That's awesome. That is for Thomas J. So the list is something they started doing for the set boosters. Mm -hmm. I, I think they largely like decided on it because mystery boosters were so popular, oh, okay. and uh, and so they decided to put like a little bit of that in as a, like a, a sort of a chase for uh, set boosters. You have about a one in four, one in five chance in a set booster to get a card from the list, and it's just just this arbitrary list they handpicked to re reprint into the set. Um, and it usually thematically fits the set. There's some desirable money cards in there that you could get, like Renin Six or Cavernous Souls, uh, Scroll Rack. Um, but they mostly, uh, it's mostly just stuff that just kind of fits the theme of the set and, and makes people like maybe take a second look at something they never saw before. Um, but, uh, but yeah, Charlie, you almost missed it, man. Check it out, Scroll Rack from the I list. I missed nothing. That's a great card. Awesome. That might be the best card in the box. And it was from the list. Oh, we're going to get another list card. My, my hatred for Damon R. Titan and bought a set booster box. Four 
Okay. Ooh, full art mythic for multicolor. Velamachus Lorehold, the red white dragon. That's a nice one for you, David. Congrats on that. And it looks really sick too. Then for red, we've got a mythic in the uh, archive slot, Mizix Mastery. That's a nice pull for Mike G. And we've got a foil Prismaria Prentice for multicolor. And from the list, it's not. It can't be as good as scroll rack. I mean, Crap card. Nezumi Grave Robber. That's actually a pretty solid and useful card right there. And that's for black, originally from Champions of Kamigawa. A rat rogue. Can we get a return to Kamigawa, please? <laughs> uh, I mean, they could do a like a like. That would probably be the best way to do it, especially now that they wouldn't have to necessarily fill out like a block. If they just did like a one shot Kamigawa set, they'll that do would a probably commander be Commander Kamigawa set. That's what they'll do. They could. Commander Legends Kamigawa. Or like, like Kamigawa remastered. Yeah. I want to see a lore one remastered first, though. Yeah, that was a good set. I want to see lore. Let's do a mirror remastered. Get it, uh, a penny off. Get back. Strict Proctor for white. Negate Archive for blue. Illustrious Historian foil for red. Another rare lesson, Confront the Past for black. Prismari Command for multicolor. Duress Archive for black. Foil square up for multicolor. Did you make a grammar error or something? Because Zach said uh, rename the stream to Grammar with Garrett. <laughs> no, I made it. I said um, I said reject, but it was like I real because it was like I saw the dude and I saw the name, but it was an instant, so it was obviously reject, not reject. That's important to me, man. <laughs> Uh, Hall of Oracles for lands. Shell, Dean of Radiance for white. Opt in the archive slot for blue. Uh, foil for multicolor, Achillean Ink Duelist. Pretty sweet looking card. I don't even know what that card does. I don't know what he does, but he looks like he's like the Darkling from Shadow and Bone. Summoning whatever it is he summons. It's a good show, though. Dude, I keep falling asleep. I've tried to watch it four times. I've, uh, all I've got left is the finale. It's solid. It's nah, solid. No uh, or, and it's like episode episode five is where it really like. Dude, I've watched the first episode four times, and four times I'm falling asleep. <laughs> uh, Oric War Mage for black. Sign Blood Archive for black. Nice. Foil Pest Summoning for Multicolor. So Killian is a 2-drop, two 2-2, two, two. one black, one white. He has Lifelink and Menace. Spells you cast that target a creature costs 2 generic mana less to cast. Doesn't sound like a black, white card. I don't know, I think he's, it sounds like a black, white card to me. 2 less to cast, mana reducing, that's blue all day. It's like a... Uh, Goes with the theme of interaction, though, right? Mm -hmm. Double major for multicolor. Uh, Infuriate in the red slot, or in the archive slot for red. Foil storm kiln artist for red as well. Big fan of that card. Yeah, we've been selling a lot of those. Is it a commander card? Yeah, it gets, uh, yeah it's, but it also, I mean, it's been getting played in. Uh, some standard decks that people have been building too, but I think it's primarily been commander. With uh, all those dwarf decks, it's just getting added into that. Throw it in with Bergy. Yeah. A whole lot of mana. Just keep playing. Elemental expressionist for multicolor. That's pretty good. Electrolyze uh, multicolor archive. And a foil opt archive for blue. Super sick foil.
Our third dual land, the red blue one, the Frost Boil Snarl. Agonizing Remorse, Archive for Black. The Foil Adventurous Impulse, Archive for Green. And from the list, Kingpin's Pet. There's a card. Hey man, you know those Explore decks were good back then. Yeah, I know. That's what he's saying. There's a card. That <laughs> card is way better than Scroll Rack. That is, that is a bold face lie. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I, I can never tell if like, you're serious or. Dude, I'm serious. It did get. It was a legit standard card, though. It was? I mean. Oh, no, it was a standard. Yeah, they play yeah. No, they did not. It's, yes, they did. They did not. They absolutely did not. Did not play what? Kingpins pet? Kingpins. Yes, they did. Those no, they decks. didn't. The Dragon's Approach. That's a notable common for red. We've got Augmenter Pugilist for green. And a Mythic in the Archive slot for blue. Mind's Desire. And a Foil Stone Rise Spirit for white. I know you didn't want blue, but blue's been okay. It's been all right. Quality of the quantity. Yeah. All right, we've got another strict proctor for white. Fervent mastery for red. Revitalize for uh, white in the archive. A foil make your mark for multicolor. Our second stamped art card. That's cool. Prismari Command. Prismari Command. That looks sweet. Culmination of Studies for Multicolor. Our second Cultivate Archive for Green. A rare foil for blue, attempted by the Auric. Zach says Deacon's going to have a full spell or time warp Japanese. It could happen. I would be perfectly fine with that. Keep forgetting it's still not a demonic it's, tutor. It's not. Ingenious Mastery for Blue. Man, this box is really just trying to give you like value, man. It's trying to make you forget about that demonic tutor. I will never forget about that demonic tutor. <laughs> Eliminate Archive for Black. And a Foil Ageless Guardian for White. I also got a collector booster box, and it only had two Japanese foils. Really? Two in the entire box. Interesting. And they were both compulsive boosters. <laughs> Illuminate History, wow. a rare lesson for red. I got lucky enough to get the, I got the pack from the uh, tutor. Uh, Hall of Oracles for lands. Abundant Harvest, rare archive for green. I hadn't seen that many of those. Uh, unwilling ingredient foil for black. Ooh, we got another card from the list. Sorry, man. I, I, I like the list. I think it's cool. Do they update it every set? Yeah. Combination of studies for multicolor. What guy got the cake job to make the list, dude? Or, like, keep the list up to date? <laughs> I'm sure they do for Nobody just regulates that. that. The dude's just like, hey, man, update the list for the next set. He's like, all right, and he just randomizes it, shuffles <laughs> a few things around. Memory Lapse Archive for blue. Uh, Dina Soul Steeper foil for multicolor. And Beseech the Queen from the list for black. That is a pretty... Sick card, super useful, originally from Shadow Moor. That's a, a pretty awesome inclusion. Is that super you know, useful? You know when, yes. You know when you play that? Commander. You don't have a demonic tutor. <laughs> <laughs> I can prove it. <laughs> the Callous Blood Mage for black. My favorite mythic from the set, Blex Vexing Pest for green. 
adventurous impulse uh, archive for green, and a foil guiding voice for white. Two packs left from the set booster. I think Clarence is mad at me for dogging the list, but I don't really, I just don't understand it. Nobody explains it. I don't, I don't understand I it. I've explained it. I, you've, under, you've explained it to me, but it doesn't, I, it doesn't click. No, it doesn't. Leon and Light Scribe for white. Yeah, we just, what's the name of the spell, the spellbinder? Like, we just never Elite pulled spellbinder. it. Elite Spellbinder. We never pulled He's that so dude, good, man. He's so good, dude. He's so good. Claim the Firstborn, Archive for red. And a foil mythic for multicolor, Magma Opus. I want to see another dragon. I think David deserves more than just the red white one. All right, last pack from the set box. Our second Dragon's Guard Elite for green. Dark Ritual Archive for Black. Nice. Oh, wow. And a Foil Bookworm for Green. That card could have been a lot cooler. Yeah. They wanted it to be super cool. I, I mean, it was, like an art card. it was neat, but they just didn't do enough. They needed to make it playable. Well, it's the second Bookworm they did. Like, Insidious Bookworm was a thing. Oh, yeah. oh man, what set was that in? Like Homelands, maybe? Yeah, it definitely wasn't. Anywhere. It was. It wasn't a very good card, but it's just cool that it's kind of like a a new take. Come and get your bookworm EDH decks, guys. Come on in. There's two of them. <laughs> and then a bunch of changelings. All right. Now we're gonna go with our Strixhaven Collector Boosters. A Freet Flame Painter, foil for red. Full Art Ruin Grinder for red. That kind of looks cool. It looks like a Mage Knight character. Yeah. Ooh, Full Art Foil or Full Art Blex, Mythic for green. Edged Foil Agonizing Remorse for black. A dark Ritual Edged Foil Japanese for black. <laughs> yeah. Got a foil cultivate for green. Full art foil semesters in for white. That card's really close to being good too. What do you think would make it better? What is it missing to keep it balanced? But coming better? in just at the end step. It's because it says they come back into play on a urine on urine step. If it was just the end step, so you could do it on like in the end. So turn. I could do it on their turn, but like you leave yourself really open if you don't get them back. Uh, foil academic probation for white. Mythic foil for green. Uh, ecological appreciation. Mm. It does say be next. I thought it was your next. It says be next. Well, see, that's how good I am at reading. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should stay for my grammar lessons. Dude, I thought that the whole dog. nest card. <laughs> the only reason I knew that is because I, I have it in a track. So Give me that card. <laughs> We've got a, a full art Octavia Living Thesis for blue. A full art Mythic for multicolor Harness Infinity. That'll be the second Harness Infinity for David in this break. Oh, shit, this card's playable. Etched Foil Divine Gambit, a Japanese for white. Etched Foil D-Spark for multicolor. Foil Infuriate for red. Ooh, nice foil for multicolor, Growth Spiral. That is a nice foil. Yeah, that one's really nice. I like that one a lot. Man, it says the next insta. <laughs> All right, for red, we've got a foil dragon's approach. That's awesome. Mike G, Lou wants these. So please, Yeah, please, everybody give them to Lou. I, Garrett's got to get this off his mind. It's Well, we've been going four weeks now. You've been trying to get Lou those foil I, dragons. I, I am dedicated to acquiring stuff for my people. Maybe like four more guys scattered for Well, nice. But I think you're exaggerating. No, I'm not. 
All right, well, Lou, we got some for you, man, if you're watching. Cliff said four, so Do come I in have, and get four. And if I it, have one as well. I need more. Uh, semester's in foil for white. Full art as a root channeler for green. Full art blade historian for multicolor. Deegan just bought 11 of those. Somebody's speculating. Damn. Did you really buy 11 of those? Yeah. Dude, they're like 40 cents. And they're going to stay 40 cents. Do we need to revisit Night of Autumn? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love Night of Autumn, and Charlie speculated with those a little bit, and I mean, you know, it's still a good card, but nobody's trying to buy it out, that's all I'm saying. Also, I did, to, uh, to Jew Preserver? To Jury Preserver? Yeah, that guy, I bought a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> I, that guy just did nothing. Uh, Edge Foil Thrill of Possibility for Red. Uh, Edge Foil Sign and Blood Japanese for Black. Well, agonizing remorse for black. And a full art foil, a free flame painter for red. So is just Japan that has completely different art? I mean, they like they've done some special stuff for Japan. Like, um, I can't think of anything else that's got alternate art Walkers. stuff so far. I mean, like other countries, because we got those. We got the Japanese walkers. Uh, Kian, Dean of Substance for Green Foil. Night of Autumn, dude, you held that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, man, I'm just, I'm just keeping everybody honest. Uh, Commander's Insight, Full Art for Blue. Full Art Hall of Oracles for Lands. Edged Foil Village Rights for Black. Was this Channel? Edged Foil Channel for Green? Nice. That's a good one, Steven. Uh, Japanese foil revitalize for white. And a foil brainstorm That's for strong. blue. Deegan is That's happy super, now. That's awesome. Super sick. I don't think I played that. I don't think I have a single counter Like, even. Night of Autumn's at two dollars. Okay, so I mean, you, what'd you pay for them? Probably a dollar. <laughs> I mean, you're, that's like like Dogecoin, right? Yeah. <laughs> Night of Autumn coin. Uh, Witherbloom Command multicolor foil. Wizards of the Coast did make an announcement that they were exploring making some sort of magic related uh, NFT. Really? Yeah. That would be the fucking dumbest thing. Sorry, F word. That would be the stupidest thing. To I just they can't even get Magic Arena to work, and they're gonna have a crypto or any I'm, type. I of, mean, I'm not gonna argue that. I'm merely relaying the fact that they had right said now, that. I hate them right now. Uh, Blight Mound, full art for black. Full art Plarg, Dean of Chaos for red. Uh, Edge foil Duress, for black. Japanese. Edge foil compulsive research for blue. Thrill of possibilities Japanese foil for red. And a full art foil vanishing verse for multicolor. That's a sweet looking full art foil. Foil Shine Shadow Snarl, the black white duel. So I think that might complete a set of duels in this for uh, for Steven. Uh, full Art Dazzling Sphinx for blue. Full Art Strixhaven Stadium for colorless. Edge Foil Japanese Claim the Firstborn for red. Edge Foil Regrowth for green. Foil Village Rights for Black. And a Mythic Archive uh, for White. Approach of the Second Sun Foil. 
really, really nice. Rush Rebirth foil for multicolor. Audacious Three Shapers full art for red. Full art for multicolor, Radiant Scroll Wilder. Edge Foil in the Gate for blue. Edge Foil Putrefy for multicolor. Strategic Planning Foil for Blue. And for Red, nice. sweet Full Art Foil Planeswalker, Rowan Scholar of Sparks. And of course, her twin bro is on the back, Will Scholar of Frost. Are they twins? Yeah, I think so. Somebody should do an altar of like Heat Miser and Snow Miser. I don't know who that is. <laughs> the old like Rudolph cartoons and stuff. Oh. Like pop. I know they do. <laughs> Foil confront the past for black. Foil vine glimmer snarl for lands. Full art Oscar the reconstructor multicolor. Full art dual land necroblossom snarl. Shaping up to be a pretty solid break for Steven. Edge Foil Adventurous Impulse for green. Tezzeret's Gambit Edge Foil Japanese for blue. Is that Infuriate? Shark, Japanese Foil? No, Japanese Foil Infuriate for red. I've gotten all the Japanese ones right so far. Good and then a Full Art Foil Academic Probation, which looks pretty spectacular as a Full Art. That one's for white. Still hunting for that demonic tutor. We would love to see that. But hey, if there's not one in this break, maybe there'll be three in the next one. What? That's what happened two weeks I ago. I don't know. It's a lesson. That would be awesome. Devastating Mastery. Foil for white. Blossoming Bog Beast. Uh, for green. Full art. Full art multiple choice for blue. Oh, I had to go and jinx myself. Edge foil Japanese for blue. Strategic planning? Or, or, I think that's strategic planning. It's Deegan's nonetheless. I I pretty, Zach I pretty, says you're right. Horrible. Thank you, Zach. I, I was right. Uh, edge foil ephemerate for white. Uh, Japanese foil for black, uh, agonizing remorse, and a uh, foil harmonize green Japanese. I really like that one. Yeah. Foil Blex for green. Full Art Theoretical duplic Duplication for blue. Uh, full Art Lorehold Command for multicolor. I like that card. Etch Foil Shock for red. Oh god. Uh, Etch Foil Japanese for white. God's willing. It's not Defiant Strike. Oh, gosh. God's willing, Zach, man. help me out, man. Is that Mana Tithe? Oh, it's Mana Tithe. Yeah. Foil Infuriate for red. And the Full Art Dream Strix for blue. That card is crap. Yep. It's beautiful. But it's not very good. They did not play that card at all, dude.
Two packs to go. Verdant Mastery for bl uh, green. Oh, nice. Monologue Tax. Full art for white. There you go. What the hell is Monologue Tax? It's like oh, okay. It's it's one of it's a big it's a big one like you know how every set of commander decks there's always one that's worth like double its value. Yeah. That's like the red white one. Okay. Because because there's monologue tax. And it's it's so funny there's so many. Another one too. Yeah the the map. The map. And so many people will come in and just be like, how much is the lore hold deck? I'm like it's thirty six and they're like, I'll take it. <laughs> like and, and like you can just tell there's this little inkling of. Man, that guy doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> what a sucker. <laughs> what a sucker. I think that every time I walk in here. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and hey, may, may, maybe they're right. Uh, but that's okay. That guy today didn't think you were a sucker. Who <laughs> 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 built a uh, Dean of Perfection full art for blue? Um, eliminate Japanese Edge Foil for black. Edge Foil Dark Ritual for black. That's cool. Uh, Japanese foil Defiant Strike for white. And a foil Doom Blade. That is easily the best, most awesomest Doom Blade of them all. It's better than the textless one. I would say that's close. It's better. Like, just on the just the foil version of this one. Okay, I'll give you that. Like, that, that's, that, that's that is it. Cool. All right. Last pack. Of break number one. Fingers crossed for a demonic tutor. We want to see like uh, the Art green, cards. black dragon also. I would yeah, that would be cool. Uh, or the the blue red one would be good value for David. Red white too. I'd like to see a full art foil elite spellbinder for Thomas. Or a wandering Dude, archaic. Ain't, ain't nobody seeing an elite spellbinder. <laughs> not, <laughs> not tonight, folks. I rip apart. It's in lots of standard sideboards right now, and modern, actually. Uh, so a foil one of those is pretty sweet. Quandrix Command, foil for multicolor. Full Art Tivash, Gloom Summoner uh, for black. Hey, our second right. Full Art Velamachus Lorehold. Maybe somebody's trying to tell you something, David, but that's awesome, man. One out of the set box, one out of the collector box. Uh, for multicolor, Charlie called it hitting another dragon. Edge foil, defiant strike for white. Edge foil, increasing vengeance, mythic for red. And a foil demonic or demonic tutor. Jesus, Garrett. <laughs> Sorry, dark ritual. God, God, for black. calm down, Sorry, everybody. Charlie. It's a valakut. <laughs> yeah, it's a <laughs> Sorry, I'm just excited. Like, like demonic, uh, demonic tutors are cool, but dark rituals. He's getting old, guys. Cool. Sorry. I am, man. I'm getting up there. And then to uh, end the uh, the set, uh, collector box for the break, we've got an etched fo or a foil mythic full art for multicolor. Hoffrey Ghost Forge. Pretty sick. It really upsets me that dwarfs kind of went past Kithkins. Well, they mean, just were like, yeah, we're going we're gonna to run with the dwarfs. Dude, dwarves are like a fantasy staple. It's it's really sad that they've only sprinkled them in kind of a little bit throughout Magic. Dude, there's gonna be a lot they, more they, Forgotten Realms. I mean, I hope so. I hope so. I can't wait for the Forgotten Realms set. Yeah. What parts make me listen to that one? Uh, uh, who knows? This is, this is, dark, 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 dark. is that Dark? I thought that was Dark Rit. My bad, guys. Village, Village Rights. I got one wrong in my haste. And it's definitely not Demonic Tutor. It's definitely not <laughs> Demonic Tutor. All right. That was a, an okay break for everybody, I think. Uh, Blue definitely had some good volume. Um, Lands had some really nice stuff. Black had a lot of good cards. Red actually had a couple nice hits. So, And, uh, of course, Multicolor, you, you can't help but um, do really well. All right, but to finish off break number one, we've got our Zendikar box topper. Opened it. Before. Why did you open it? I, I'm just, I, I didn't reveal it. Yeah, we opened it and took it out. We never take it out. Oh, my God. It's the same same card. Sorry. Whoever gets it, I'm sorry. It's a creepy tar pit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the winner of the randomized box topper yeah, randomized. is going to be... <laughs> 
Arthur K. And Arthur is getting a strip mine. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's on a creeping tar pit. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, like, I would have just fallen out if it was a creeping tar pit. Uh, congrats to Arthur. Uh, so I, I can see that hitting a commander deck of yours very quickly. It's, it's not a fetch, but it's definitely one of the desirable ones. You, you definitely want to see that if you are lucky enough to win the randomized. Yes, that's right. All right. All right. Moving on to break number two. Let's get our set boxes, uh, set box packs ready. Appreciate you hanging out for the first one there, Ted. Yeah, thanks for having me. Take it easy. All right. In this break. We've got Aaron Dews, Aaron H, uh, Clarence Dews, Greg, Levi, and Zach R. Damn, you threw the whole friend group I in there? Know, right? Yeah, everybody's in there. All right, and the spots will go to Greg is in black. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Greg's probably hit double tier, at least. Levi is in blue. Clarence is in green and lands. Zach is in red. Aaron H is in white and colorless. Check out red last week, I guess. And Aaron Dews is in multicolor. Aaron also got multicolor the other day. That's crazy. I think Clarence got no Clarence got black, maybe or blue. I don't care. No, I believe I got blue last week, didn't he? I, I don't remember who got what last week. All right, let's Dude, tell Greg randomizer. he can't he can't join next week unless he beats me in magic <laughs> this week. I'm getting tired of beating him. You don't need all these magic cards. All right, guys. Power through break number two. Oh my god. <laughs> Power through. <laughs> <laughs> it just stopped. It's like the the world's toughest pack to open uh, of all time. Don't worry, Garrett's going to the gym soon, guys. <laughs> That's weird. And the the art cards flipped backwards. That was weird. What art card is it? Is it square up? That is Vortex Runner. We've got Valentin, a Dean of the Vein for black. Silver Quill Silencer for multicolor. Nice. Negate uh, for blue. And a foil mercurial transformation for blue. Levi did have blue last week. And from the list, it's hard to be the scroll rack from the last one. Cradle Guard, originally from Urza's Saga. Uh, green. Don't everybody get excited at once. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's Cradle Guard. Like, you guys need to let me know if Clarence had green last week, because that's going to be crazy if Levi had blue, Clarence had green, Zach had red, and Aaron had multicolor. That is pretty crazy if, if that's how... I think this is from a, like, a, like from the original, like, um, this is a box from the Japanese, like, printed ones. And that's why they're in, like, the, like, the pack is a little oh, different. Yeah. Oh, Clarence had black last week. Uh, uh, Vine Glimmer Snarl. Uh, green, blue, dual land. For Str from Strixhaven. I guess everybody knows that. Uh, <laughs> sorry, that's a long No, day. there's the list. We gotta know. We gotta know what set it's in. That's right. Because there's the list. <laughs> uh, Lightning Helix, multicolor, archive. From, that's Snarl, awesome. Originally from... <laughs> <laughs> uh, foil duress uh, for black. Don wants to know if y'all have Japanese lightning bolts. Uh, I'll have to check for you afterwards, man. I do not remember. He's probably gonna want four Japanese lightning bolts. It's, it's either four or none. Oh. Mythic lesson. For colorless mascot exhibition, strict proctor for white, 
eliminate archive for black and a foil prismari campus for lands dude they seal their packs up crazy tight why do you open your pack weird well how am i supposed to open it like that it works on all the american packs Oh, dang, from Strixhaven. <laughs> <laughs> Uvilda, Dean of Perfection for blue. Manifestation Stage for multicolor. Revitalize for white. A Foil Essence Infusion for black. And from the list, a Calming Lissid from Stronghold for white. Why not Academy Reactor or whatever it is? Wouldn't that have been cool? That's on the reserve list, I'm fairly sure. It's on the list. Why not print the reserve list as the list? <laughs> Piss a lot of people off. Uh, 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 I mean... Do you know how sick packs would be? <laughs> Those would be the <laughs> sickest. No, retail. <laughs> oh. Venerable War Singer for multicolor. Whirlwind Denial for blue. Foil Resculpt for blue. It's kind of crazy to me all the things Wizards will cancel, but the reserve list is the one thing it hasn't just folded on yet. I mean, and and I mean, the longer that they let they let it go, man, like the worse the, it the, gets. The, the more, well, the the more people that have invested to yeah. and it makes it more impossible to go back on that dude it's not impossible they just need to do it right now everybody sell out i'm writing a letter just sell all of your reserve list stuff to post malone yeah and then let uh wizards go crazy with it retriever phoenix for red archive for blue opt and a foil Needlethorn Drake for multicolor. Necro Blossom Snarl for Lance. Stone Rain Archive for Red. Foil big play for green. Big play. <laughs> Inquisition of Kozilek art card. It's kind of cool. Gnarled Professor for green. Claim the Firstborn archive for red. Foil start from scratch for red. Where's the good stuff? I'm working on it, man. Witherbloom Command for multicolor. Defiant Strike archive for white. Foil Tome Shredder for red and from the list it's red old border double matrix goblin lore nice oh, that's close uh, uh like portal artwork that's pretty awesome man it was nice to see a, a reprint of that in jumpstart so that uh those holly one decks so uh, wouldn't uh, cost a million dollars. You're saying this just got a reprint and it's on the list? No. I'm saying, like, they could print that card in a couple more sets and yeah, I'd still be heavy. Yeah. What was the last one? M10 before that? M M no, it was 9th edition, right? Pretty sure it was 9th edition. It was 10th edition. No way. What? Is that right? No, it was 10th edition. M10 is not the same as 10th edition. Somebody look it up. Goblin lore. It was 9th edition. Eighth, you don't have to look it up. 
I know there's Go look it up. Go look it up. Just so you guys can tell Charlie and Cliff I'm right, as is usual. I know there's a pen in there. Uh, Hall of Oracles, Lands. Tezrix Gambit, Archive for Blue. I do think I remember seeing an X on it. Foil Spring Main Servin for Green. Damn. Yeah, well, I draft better than you. I'll just, I'll just sleep that there. <laughs> I draft better. Hey, we got a stamped art car. Valentin Dean of the Vein. Name back. Old Jesper, like Essing. I feel like that's actually a good card. I mean, it's a cool. He's got a good signature. Uh, the good Dean. job, Jesper. Hey. Shine Kai for black. Foil rare for green. Exponential growth. Feel invested because my friend group's in this. But at the same time, I could care less. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was thinking, I was like, man, I'm really. In the first, Chris Mari, the red blue dragon we were hoping to see. Adventurous Impulse for green. Foil for multicolor, elemental masterpiece. And from the list, an island. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Really no, they didn't. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is from Jumpstart. Yeah, it's the cup head. It's one. the Jumpstart island, which. The mill head. And you're going to fucking sit here and defend. F40. For you're going to sit here and defend the list. Okay, so. Get the for Jumpstart. Some of the basic lands in those packs are only available in Jumpstart, and because Jumpstart is fairly limited, the basic lands from Jumpstart do have some collector value. Dollar so dollar it's, his, swap. it's hysterical that they have, uh, they reprinted an island for the list. Hey, to be fair, islands are the most OP cards in Magic. I mean, all I gotta say is, like, this is the first card I've pulled... Where maybe Charlie was right. <laughs> because there's, I mean, what's the redeeming value of pulling that? Like, oh man, like, island, what's that? <laughs> like, yeah. now I need to go learn all about blue. <laughs> oh man. You're telling me if I pull up the list right now, it's going to say island and then have that number, its number on it? I guess. Right now. Oh man, that was that was something, man. That goes to Clarence. Yeah, at least it's a cool looking island. I mean, it is a cool looking island, but man, that's funny. Illuminate history for red. Mythic for multicolor, blot out the sky. Archive brainstorm for blue. Honor troll foil for green. Oh man, that. <laughs> oh man, what a world. Efreet yeah, Flame Painter for red. It's gonna be hard to get a better list card than that, man. <laughs> Make scroll rack look extra strong. It made calming listed look strong. <laughs> uh, thrill of possibility, or actually that island's probably worth more than 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 half of those cards from the list. Uh, thrill of possibility archive for red. Foil silver quill pledge mage for multicolor. It's definitely worth more than kingpin. <laughs> probably. You know that there's some folks out there like just putting together sets of the list every time. Like you know it's happening. Are you happening. serious? You know it's happening because it, what, what you don't pull, you could like a lot of them. You could fill out for not you know for not a ton, but it is 300 cards every time. Zach wants to know what island it was. It was some jumpstart. It was the one from Jumpstart. <laughs> the the like the statue head looking one. There you go, Zach. Uh, 
Uh, Dragon's Approach for red. That was a stupid island. Archmage Emeritus for blue. Strixhaven. First print. <laughs> Shock Archive for red. Foil Mage Duel for green. Are there any other basic lands on the list? The waste. I mean, the waste on the list. Yeah. I mean, I'm cool with that. They need to, they need to have more uh, copies of wastes. Like Dude, the whole list is a waste. It's not a, <laughs> not a it's just a and light scribe for white. Uh, cultivate archive for green. Foil rare for black. Callus blood mage. No, see, waste kind of does make sense to me because you wouldn't know what that is. Yeah, like that saying, makes sense. I get that. I don't know what that is. That was my issue. Island, I know what it is. Kian Dean of Substance for green. Dream Strix for blue. Faithless Looting Archive for red. Foil closing statement for multicolor. And a young pyro from the list. Young pyromancer. Solid inclusion. Happy to see that. It's super useful. Sees play in modern. Definitely try to join us this coming Friday for modern. It has been a pretty sweet, like, three or four weeks that we've been doing it. It's nice to kind of be getting back into an event rhythm for the weekends. Mythic for red. Crackle with power. Archive for blue. Memory lapse. Foil for blue, Symmetry Sage. And from the list. Multicolor. The is, it is it Moldratha? Oh, it probably is Moldratha. Moldratha! Yes. Mythic, originally from Dominaria. Yeah, he's a pretty uh, excellent commander. Awesome. Scroll Rack's still the best card we pulled for the list, but Moldrotha is a good one. Goblin Lore, that one's nice. Nice! For Multicolor, the Black White Dragon, Shadrix Silver Quill. Shaping up to be a solid break for old Aaron Dews. Hey, and an elite spellbinder for white. Nice. This is a good pack. Oh, and the art card was stamped. Ruxa. Nice. And a mythic Jeez. archive. Demonic tutor. What a pack. Oh, damn it. For black. There you go, Greg. Of course. That's what I was thinking. Greg is charmed. Deacon was right. He called that one. I hope you're watching, man. And then a foil campus guide for colorless. But well, that was a really nice pack, man. We've got the Demonic Tutor, we've got the Elite Spellbinder, and the Shadrach Silver Quill. Dude, How about that for sealed? Greg is so freaking lucky. He is. Look, Greg, I'll trade you some of my magic skill for you to give me some of your uh, pack opening luck. Here. That's awesome, dude. Now, two more to go to see if we can match Mike G's haul from two weeks ago. And one of them's got to be a Japanese foil. Quandrix Command for multicolor. Agonizing Remorse Archive for black. A foil strategic planning for blue.
I'll accept that joke when you actually beat me, Greg. <laughs> Flame Scroll Celebrate for Rid. The Biblioplex for Lance. Divine Gambit, Archive for White. Foil Elemental Summoning for Multicolor. Damn, that was a really good pack. Yeah, that was a, that was definitely the best individual pack. Could you night. save sealed though? These are set boosters. They don't do set boosters for sealed. Not technically, but I mean, you could do them. But I mean, that would just be that would be a sick run of cards for it for sure. Pestilent Cauldron for black. And full nice. art dragon, Belladros Witherbloom, the green black. Damn. That's three dragons already for Aaron. Really, really nice, dude. Dude, you better slow down because he's not going to like it unless it's in the collector boosters. <laughs> right? Dark Ritual Archive for Black. Another hit for Greg. Foil Expel for White. And a Temio's Journal from the list. Nice. Pretty cool. We actually, like, like Temio's Journals and, like, Vincer's Journals... Like, we kind of need those. They're all the time on commander lists, and we are often out. Don't look at me like that. I didn't, look at you like any, I didn't, didn't do or say anything. I'm just <laughs> watching the open packs, man. What the hell? Sedgemore Witch for black. Strategic Planning for blue. Archive. Foil Pilgrim of the Ages for white. The only I hope they're like they put like a checklist card on the list. That'd be cool. Like an inner stride checklist card. They should do that. They yeah. should, I mean you should and like it would I mean it would be a, something easily that could replace like one of these advertisement cards. Yeah. And it would be collectible because there'd probably be like 20 of them, you know. Be, I think that's a good idea, actually. Make a list for the list. They probably will find it unnecessary because that's why the whole internet exists. Nice. For red, we've got a mythic full art Rowan Scholar of Sparks. Like, can we, like I'd like to see a freaking regular Rowan. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've seen one. <laughs> <laughs> Sparring Regimen for white. Archive Duress for black. And a foil archive memory lapse for blue. Is that the art card too? No. No, that that's the, the, the storm that's the that storm killing artist. I think the last art card was memory lapse. Was it? The top art card? Yeah. Okay. Devastating Mastery for white. Kind of a Primal Command Mythic for green. Strong. Foil Practical Research for multicolor. So kind of a neat note on that last pack. The only common that was in the pack was the Russian. Everything else was uncommon. In there. Really? Yep. That's cool. Set, I, 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 set boosters are definitely growing on me. I mean, I, I wouldn't be sad if they just did away with them tomorrow. Oh, gosh, yeah, I'd be so happy. Just because I think it causes them a lot of production issues trying to make so many different kinds of products. Um, and so when stuff like draft boosters that theoretically should never be hard to get, when they become hard to get, it's it's kind of a drag. But, I, but outside of that, set boosters are pretty cool in my book. Not mine. <laughs> Multiple choice for blue. Snakeskin veil for green. Archive. Foil emergent sequence for green. And again, I'm in that 10% that has played sanction events, so I don't even contribute to the magic population. I mean, it's great that you, it, that's finally dawning on you. <laughs> Playing the wrong game. 
No, but it, I mean, it, it is one of those things that, like, if that statement is accurate, which is probably pretty close to being accurate, it just goes to show you that when they're designing sets and designing formats and stuff, like, they have to keep a lot more people in mind than the ones you see every week at the card shop. I mean, you know, but they better keep that 10% in mind because they're going to be the most vocal and they really drive like the direction of the game in, in large ways. Uh, Rush Rebirth for multicolor. Sign and Blood Archive for black. Foil Pop Quiz for blue. I played a Wizard of the Coast guy today on a, on a MTGO. Yeah. I tried to ask him a bunch of questions and he left. He just gave me the game. <laughs> he won the how, first how, game. How did you know it was like Wizards of the Coast guy? Because they have to have their, like, the Watsy thing at the front. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That was for the Vintage Cube? Yeah. Oh, man, that's my favorite. No, it's, it's Legacy Cube right now. Sorry, no power. Oh, that's even better, actually. Yeah, rip apart. Nice one for multicolor. Cody, Vociferous Codex for Colorless. First one of those we've seen tonight. Infuriate, Archive for Red. And a Foil Ether Helix for multicolor. All right, two packs left in the set box. We've seen a Demonic Tutor. Will we see a second one? Maybe a Time Warp or uh, a Tainted Pact. We'd like to see all that. Draconic Intervention for red. God's Willing Archive for white. Is that rare? Yeah, they bumped it up to rare. Jeez. Foil Eager First Year for white. All right. So far in the set box, Aaron has done excellent with multicolor. Greg has done really well with black. And then there's been a little bit, uh, a little bit of stuff scattered about there for everybody else. Very little. No. L little pepper. <laughs> Just a, a, a smattering yeah. of, of stuff. Conspiracy theorist for red. I like that guy. Archive Rare, Urza's Rage for Red. And finally, a Foil Agyar Battle Seer for Multicolor. Wah, wah. All right. Now to this uh, Collector Boosters. The good stuff. Hopefully it's the good stuff for... Levi, Clarence, Zach, and Aaron H. Levi made out like a bandit last week. He doesn't need anything. Clarence needs something. Clarence needs help. No, he made out like a bandit last week too with his Professor Onyxes. He didn't get no demonic tutors though. Did he? No. I don't think so. I don't think so. Did he get one? Maybe. One. Let's just say he didn't and then I'll go check and if he did. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. For multicolor, mythic, body of research foil. He didn't get one. Full Art, Fiery Encore. I don't think he's picked it up yet, so he, he don't even know. Fiery Encore, Full Art for Red. Full Art Torrent Sculptor for Blue. A Japanese Etched Foil Infuriate. Etched Foil Counterspell for nice. Blue. He got double Crux of Fate. That's right. Oh, that's right. He has the Japanese foil. Oh, and yeah, I remember Levi did really good with blue because he, yeah, got, the, he got the foil time warp. He got the foil counter and spell. Aaron got multicolor last week. And Zach got red. Foil thrill of possibility for red. Freaking Groundhog Day over here. <laughs> and a foil Urza's Rage for red. Yeah, Clarence said you're more than welcome to slip a tutor in there. <laughs> Greg's tutor. Foil rush, Rushed Reaper for multicolor. Full Art Sly Instigator for blue. Full Art Mythic for white. Mavenda Students Advocate. That card is so cool. It's a crap card. 
Japanese edge foil whirlwind denial for blue. Edge foil day of judgment mythic for white. Dang, come nice. on, white. Followed by Japanese foil divine gambit for white. Uh, full art culling ritual for multicolor. You figured out when we're going back to drafting? Uh, my goal is um, probably like what? What day is May twenty eighth? Is that? Is that a Friday? I would imagine they did it. Yeah, it's a Friday. Probably May 28th. Okay. But it all really just depends on if they fix the bug in the tournament program that lets me run more than one thing at a time. Uh, sparring Regimen, a foil for white. Full Art Sprout Back Trudge for green. Full Art Culling Ritual for multicolor. Uh, edge foil revitalize for white. Edge foil D spark, Japanese, for multicolor. Foil duress for black. And a full art foil mythic for red. It looks super sick. Uh, crackle with power. Why have we never drafted uh, collector boosters? <laughs> Why? We, they did the whole shards thing of foil the expensive cards, and that was expensive to do. I mean, we can do that one day. I would love that. That would be awesome, dude. So bad. I will call it a work He didn't mean that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Teaching of the Archaic, foil for blue. And a torrent sculptor foil for blue. Right, that crackle with power looks amazing. Full art cursed mirror for red. That looks awesome. Full art sparring regimen for white. Edge foil Japanese eliminate for black. Edge foil Inquisition of Kozilek for black. Japanese foil strategic planning for blue. And a full art foil strict proctor for white. What are you taking in that pack? As a draft pack? Yeah. Man, now I'm going to have to read all the commons. But at a glance... Mm. I know you're taking the red card. Uh, you know, I'm probably taking the eliminate. I think so. Because it's removal. But that's like, man, like, that's half reading them. Culmination of studies, foil for multicolor. Full art stinging study for black. Full Art Mythic for Blue, Jadzi, Oracle of Arcavios. Edge Foil Cultivate for Green. Edge, Japanese Edge Foil. What in the world is this? Why am I forgetting what it? Is it? Double Red. red. Is that a Hiri on there? What is this one, Double Red would be Increasing Vengeance. Increasing Vengeance. Thank you. Is that a Hiri? Yeah. Foil Claim the Firstborn, Archive for Red. And a Full Art Foil, the Biblioplex Lands. Foil Fervent Mastery for Red. Full art for white, promise of loyalty. Full art fervent mastery, non-foil, to go with the foil regular. 
Edge foil, defiant strike, Japanese for white. Edge foil, stone rain for red. Another stone rain for Zach. Japanese foil, adventurous impulse for green. It's just a branch. <laughs> Japanese foil is. Man, Urza's Rage. <laughs> Sorry, man. I don't look at artwork. But yeah, I remember that, though. Like, Urza's Rage. I see the, the nine in the text box. Pretty cool. For those of you that haven't been playing Magic for that long, I can't oversell you how much Urza's Rage was all the rage in its day. It was by far the number one card in its version of Standard. And uh, it's, it's almost funny to see it get reprinted and just kind of be ho-hum these days. Uh, Strict Proctor Foil for white. Full, full Art Essence Pulse for black. I was just thinking of Sorcerer's Spyglass <laughs> and all of the other cards that were worth less than that. And that's how I feel about every one of those cards that was worth less than Sorcerer's Spyglass. Like, what did Sorcerer's Spyglass ever do to you? Like, there's some sort of trauma. It's just a crap card. <laughs> Basic Conjuration Full Art for Green. Edge Foil Claim the Firstborn for Red. Japanese Edge Foil Regrowth for Green. Yeah. Japanese Foil Eliminate for Black. Followed by Sign and Blood Foil for Black. Hall of Oracles for lands, foil. Full Art Healing Technique for green. Full Art Quandrix Command for multicolor. Edge Foil Duress for black. Edge Foil Counterspell for blue. <laughs> and a Foil Negate for blue. Levi is going to have the most pimped out counters. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice. That's a gorgeous looking card. Japanese Edge Foil Electrolyze. Not Edge Foil, just sorry, Japanese Foil Electrolyze. But that is maybe the prettiest card in the set. That is awesome. Foil Uvilda Dean of Perfection for blue. Full Art Perplexing Test for blue. Full Art Dramatic Finale for multicolor. Uh, Edge Foil Japanese Opt for blue. Edge nice. Foil God's Willing for white. And a Japanese Foil Revitalize for white. Saw one of those in the last box too. And a mythic full art foil for blue. Jadzi Oracle of Arcavios. So is that a legendary? It is. How does that work in Commander if the back of the card is a It's both colors. It's both colors. Can I play that card from outside the game? The other side of it? What do you you mean like if it was your commander? Yeah. Yeah. That's dumb. It, it's like, it, it can definitely get dumb. Foil Dragon's Approach for red. For Lou. Well, it's for <laughs> Zach right now. <laughs> but it could be for Lou. Foil Illuminate History for red. Foil Double Major for multicolor. Full Art Mythic uh, for multicolor. Brina the Demagogue. Full Art Retriever Phoenix for red. Uh, edge Foil Village Rights. Is that what it was? Village Rights? Yes. Yeah. For black. 
Edge foil harmonize for green. See, like, like I do not like that style, man. What? Why not? They, I mean, like, like the paper looting or it's just like. No, that one looks all right compared to Faithless Looting. That's yeah. like a fucking work of art. Uh, thrill of Possibility, Japanese foil. And a full art foil, Belladros Witherbloom, Mythic, Multicolor, for Aaron Dews. Strixhaven. From Strixhaven. <laughs> it's from the awesome, collector man. pack, Aaron. You're in there, man. You got something from the collector booster. <laughs> All right, two packs to go. Just put this stuff with, in like an envelope with Star City's address on it. I mean, you can start selling some of that stuff to me. I told him that. I told him that. Uh, although, Star, like, Star City, like, without their event circuit, could probably use, like, some collections being thrown their way. Uh, Aaron's throwing them. <laughs> <laughs> Mavenda Students uh, Advocate Mythic Foil for white. Full Art Ink Shield for multicolor. Full Art Strict Proctor for white. Edge Foil Divine Gambit for white. <laughs> uh, Japanese Edge Foil. Revitalize. Is that re Revitalize? I no, no, was... Revitalize is the one with the with the stuff on, like going around in a semicircle. Which one is this, Deegan? Gift of Estates. Gift of Estates. That's uh, what that's what I said. Foil village rights for black. And a foil crosin grip for green. That one is pretty awesome. Alright, last pack guys. We wanna see that tutor. We already saw the tutor. Or we want to see that natural order. Or we wanna see another dragon. No, we want to see natural order. Or we want to see a time warp. We want it to be big value for somebody. Teferi's protection, right? That's what we really need to Teferi's see so Aaron H can get a... This he's pack, done all right, though. He's done this, all right. He's got this pack should be a foil elite spellbinder, a full art foil, a uh, wandering archaic, and a Teferi's protection. Or a grape shot. <laughs> for Zach. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, this foil grape shots right are like 18 bucks. Foil channel would be good, too. Alright, guys. Do people play channel? And cube. Only <laughs> format you can play. Uh, foil callous blood mage for black. You should be able to channel an ADH. Full art rousing refrain for red. Full art multiple choice for blue. Etched foil opt for blue. Etched foil grape shot. You, you almost Maybe. sort of called that one yeah. there, Zach, man. That's nice for red. Foil strategic planning for blue. Swords to plowshares. That's pretty nice. Japanese foil swords to plowshares for white. That's actually that's, really nice. That's like 26 bucks. That's a good hit for you, Aaron. And I know you'll play this in uh, in Commander at least. I wish it was something you could play in Standard or Modern because it is definitely right up your alley. But that made up a lot of ground for you, man. I'm glad for you. I hadn't seen too many of those in the Japanese foil. We haven't seen those. All right. The randomizer is set at one. And the winner of our Zendikar no, Rising wait. box topper. We got to open it up and take it out and set it down. Oh, my God. If I'd have done that without you saying that, you'd have complained. All right. All right. Who 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 do we think had like the, Clarence needs the it. least value? You think Clarence? <laughs> yes. All right. Well, we'll see what happens, man. I, I hope it's a really good one, no matter what. And it goes to.
Greg. You son of a bitch, Greg. I just saw you write that too. He said I need it, and I was like, no. I was like, no, he doesn't. All right, answer Greg. No, no, re-roll. No, sorry. I'll get one re-roll. <laughs> and Greg receives to end our break. A wasteland, strip mine a wasteland tonight. That's pretty cool. Nice man, congrats. Wasteland is super cool. Not a fetch, but it is very, very useful. It's not a fetch, but it's not a creeping tar pit either. Yeah, come on, tar pit. That's all I was thinking, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Like, thank you for joining us once again this week. Those are really fun. I'm glad we got to see at least one tutor get pulled today. Um, we're going to be doing something like totally different next week. Uh, keep your eyes uh, peeled for that. Hopefully, it's something that can work out to get maybe eight spots instead of six. Um, but either way, we're really looking forward to, to doing it again next week. Don't forget, you can still pre-order your Modern Horizons 2 boxes. Uh, set boosters are 250 collector boosters are 360 um, We are currently in the planning stages for the pre-release for that set. Uh, we're super stoked to be able to do an in-person event for it. Um, so, like, just clear your schedules, get ready to play some Magic, and uh, we're going to definitely see you here again next week. Thanks.